Hi everyone. So as a data analyst, uh, you should get into a habit of uh, viewing any data frame that you encounter. Now there are many ways you can do that. Uh, you can get the feel of the data content in the data frame. Now in this video, we are going to see five functions used to explore the data frame. Now we will use the data set contained in NYC Flights 13 package. Now this package basically contains all the data related to all uh, domestic flights uh, departing from New York City's three main airports 2013. Now this package has uh, five data sets. The first data set is uh, related to the flights. It has all the information related to the flights. Uh, second data set is related to the airlines. So basically it has uh, information on aircrafts used. Third data set is uh, weather data set. So weather data in three airports. Uh, and the final is the airports. So basically it has name and the code of all the domestic destinations the flights are flying to. So we have lots of data here. And now let's use our uh, view functions and let's check how we can explore this, this data frame. As a data analyst, you should always get into a habit of viewing any data frame that you encounter. Now let's start with a view function. Type view flights into our console. Once you execute the command, you will find a data frame details popped up into a separate viewer. Now let ex let's explore this data frame. Now the first, let me tell you that view function is RStudio's built-in function. That is, you don't need to install a separate package for it. As you explore the data frame, you can see many variables listed in columns. There are variables such as distance, day, array delay, arrival delay, are what we call as quantitative variables. The other variables are categorical variables. If you refer to the leftmost column, you will see a column of numbers. These are row numbers of data set. And if you glance across a row with the same number, say row number five, you will get an idea of what each row is representing. Now let's now look at the second function. The second function will cover to explore the data frame is glimpse function included in a deplir package. So you will have to load deplir package by running dip library deplir command in console. Now this function provides us with an alternative perspective for exploring the data frame than view function. Observe that uh, glimpse will give you first few entries of each variable in a row after the variable name. It will also give you a data type of variable given immediately after each variable name. The next way to explore data frame is using kabil function. This is from nitar package. So let's explore different carrier codes for all airlines in two different ways. Run both the lines of code in the console. As you can observe, the output of kabil function is more legible and reader friendly. Kabil function is used widely in creating reports using R markdown dollar operator. This allows us to extract and explore a single variable within data frame. In this example, we will use dollar operator to extract only name variable. And the last function that we are going to see is head and tail functions. As the name implies, head function displays first six entries in data frame and tail function displays last six entries. Uh, in this video, I have told you a uh, minimally viable set of tools uh, used to explore the data frames in R. Now, this is not the exhaustive list, but these functions will help you to get a quick feel of data sets. Now, and of course, uh, if you struggle to get hang of any functions, then R file will always be there to, for your rescue. Now, what you have to do, you have to just type in a question mark 
before the name of the function and the help file will pop up into the studio so having said that uh, we will wrap up today's uh, video uh, if you feel that these videos are really helping you then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel the infinity a channel for data science bye and take care